All right, Scott McLuhan, general manager of the Redskins, is with us. And before we talk about the team, your first experience at this facility, what do you think? I think it's special. You know, I, I, you know, I heard Bruce told me a lot about it, the coach told me a lot about it, but it's it's first class. The field's in great shape, the building's excellent, the weight room, the training room, so I'm, I'm very excited about it. But these days in the NFL, it seems like this is the anti-trend and more teams are training at home. The Redskins used to train at home for years. What's your basic philosophy on getting away and the need to do that, or is there a need? You know, there is. You know, my, my, when I was first in Seattle, we'd go across state to Cheney and, and train there, and I really liked it because you kind of come together closer. You know, if guys aren't going home at night, veterans aren't staying with their families, but they're here, and you have no choice but to be with each other. Um, and plus, it gets the fans around here more, more chance to see the Redskins. So I like it. Either way, I'm fine with, but I like getting away. All right, Junior Gallet on board. Tell us how that transpired. Well, you know, he, he, he was released, you know, last week by, by New Orleans. So, of course, we started doing it was surprised all of us with the contract he had just signed and all that. Right. You know, we, we had working knowledge already of him, of course. He's been a good football player for a couple of years. Um, so, it was right then we started our background research. Um, did a lot, a lot of research on him, as we do with everybody. But, you know, he's, he's got a couple of things still pending out there. So, we had to really look into it, and we did. Um, Called him, got him on a flight in here. We said we went the first team he comes to. He said, I promise you would be the first one to talk to. Came in yesterday. I sat down for two hours. Jay sat down with him. Bruce sat down with him. Um, you know, and really grilled him. And, you know, and all got together. An honest opinion. What do you guys think? And we, we all had a thumbs up. It's great. And, you know, you're a team. This is a team. Is, you know, you've talked about it. You pride yourself on character and character individuals. And, and he has had a couple of things happen. But uh, your conversations, your research make you comfortable. Yeah, a lot, a lot more comfortable once we did our research and did a lot of research than I was from the get-go. From the get-go, I was a little bit nervous about, okay, geez, there's some things out there, video out there and stuff like that. Now, we looked into everything and even with the league office, talking to them right. and doing all that. So, like I said, a couple things are still pending, but we felt fine with them as a person. Okay, what kind of player did you get? A really good pass rusher off the edge. Um, a 3-4 outside back. And he played a lot in New Orleans with his hand down, but he would stand up to and I thought he had more success when he wasn't a two-point stance. So with us, in our, in our base, he could be an outside linebacker. And then if we go sub, as he's done before, he could put his hand down the ground. But he's, he has 22 sacks the last two years. And I watched five games yesterday from last year. He could easily add eight more sacks. So, I mean, the guy gets to the quarterback. And you know what? And the guy plays with a relentless motor and with, and with anger. Hey, got to like that. Yeah, definitely. Got to like that. As the saying goes, you don't really know what you got until the pads come on. And the pads come on tomorrow for the Redskins. Is there any area that you're particularly interested in? Of course, you got to evaluate all 90 players. Yeah, you know, a, a lot of the veterans I, I know, if they need to see them during the season, cut last couple of years playing right. or from college, I want to see how the young guys respond. You know, it's the first time being out here in this heat, you know, going against, you know, elite competition and, and, and just see how they respond. It's not so much the first day with all the pads on. It's the second time they put the pads on. Right. Where you want to see how they respond, how their body responds. See if there's any wear down to see how they handle the, 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 the whole surroundings. Yes, no doubt. What excites you the most about this season, Scott McLuhan? Then we'll let you get back to practice. You know, everything. You know, from the standpoint of the fan base, from the, 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 the history of the organization, the fact we play in an excellent division and conference, um, and it's football. You know what? And the guys are out here working their tail off. We've had a great offseason. The coaches have been great coaching. The players and great participation in the offseason program. Yep. Show up here. They're all in shape. They're all ready to roll. Um, so I'm very excited. You know, it's 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 always tough, but that's the NFL, and, and, and that's what makes it fun. But we got we got a lot of guys out here. We got a lot of new new faces too, and we're going to compete. It's going to be a good week. Well, nobody said it'd be easy, but the final result is always what you're looking for. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Larry.